Before attempting to change the grinding blade, first make sure the machine is powered off and unplugged. Next, loosen the two Phillips head screws that hold the blade cover on. Now, locate this wrench and using the larger end, lift up the head and insert it behind the grinding wheel and spin the grinding wheel to make sure that you've engaged the spindle. Then using the second wrench, which looks like that, engage the nut, and this is reverse thread, so you wanna turn it clockwise to loosen, and that would be counterclockwise to tighten. Then spin the nut off and you can remove the grinding wheel from the machine. It is very important to inspect your blade before every use for chips, cracks, or other abnormalities that may cause catastrophic failure. Never use a blade that has chips in it, that's cracked, or that looks unsafe. If you need new blades, you can contact Emco for a replacement. To reinstall the blade, simply reverse the process. Place the braid blade on the spindle, put the nut on, and tighten counterclockwise. And then, using the wrenches, cinch the nut down just until it's tight. Reinstall the blade cover, and return power to the machine. If you're changing to the raker grinding blade, you'll notice it has a profile to it. You want that beveled edge installed towards the, uh, towards the motor. So it should look like that. Then tighten the nut counterclockwise and using the wrenches again, Engage the spindle and spin until it's just tight. You don't have to torque down on these super hard. Replace the braid cover and we're ready to grind the rakers.